The seller of this Xbox Series X said that they were ripped off by a professional repair company, so after they got it back, they tried to fix it themselves, and now I have it. This video is sponsored by Whatnot, more on them in a minute. The seller said that there were 10 missing pads on the HDMI port, but all they did was keep him waiting, eventually stole his money, told him his console was unfixable, stole the retimer chip off of the board, and then sent it back. The seller did say that they did fix the missing pads, but it still needs the HDMI port and the retimer chip. I'm telling you what the seller told me. I don't have the other side of the story, so I don't know what the repair shop would say. I do try to verify these stories as much as possible, but obviously I'm still only getting one side of the story. I'm not sure what I'm getting into or if I'll even be able to fix it. So far, things aren't looking too crazy. This uh, viscous thermal paste isn't doing what it needs to do. It's actually kind of dry. Usually it's a little moist, but that's definitely dry. Let's see if they put in the perfect amount of thermal paste. Of course they didn't. There's not any thermal paste even here. Now that's probably the seller that I bought it from because I know they worked on it after it got back from the repair shop and he probably had it apart and just kind of threw it together when I bought it from him. So I don't think that he just didn't have thermal paste on here when he was trying to uh, get it working. Now let's have a look at the HDMI port and the retimer chip. Obviously the retimer chip is missing and the port itself, it's had a lot of work done on these traces back here. Let's get under a microscope and check those out. I get asked on a regular basis, Steve, where do you sell the stuff that you fix in your videos? And the answer to that is Whatnot. Whatnot is an app where you can search for new, refurbished, and used electronics, as well as lots of other things. You can buy video games, clothing, trading cards, sports equipment, and lots of other stuff. One of my favorite things about Whatnot is it's a live auction. So if something comes up that you want to bid on, but you're not sure about the condition of it, if you're not sure, about one of its features, you can just ask the seller right in the chat. It's a little bit like eBay, but instead of just having a few photos to look through and maybe a description, it's an interactive live stream, so you can get any information you need to make an informed purchase right there on your phone. Whatnot is a great place to get really good deals and have fun shopping online within a community. In fact, during my last Whatnot auction, the high bid on this Xbox One X was only $125. This tested and working PS5 sold for $320, and the high bid for this Nintendo Switch Fortnite bundle was was only $170. As a seller, I love the fact that people can ask me questions right over here in the chat, and then I can just answer them live on stream. Whatnot is a great place to get really good deals and to have fun hanging out with the community of people who have similar interests as you do. On Monday, September 18 at 10 a.m., I'm gonna be selling all of this stuff plus a whole bunch more. I've got a total of 15 items that I'm gonna be selling live on Whatnot. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this one because I've got multiple special editions. This isn't even all of them. Probably the rarest special edition I'm selling this time is this PS4 500 million edition. Only 50,000 were made, and I've got this one that I used in a video that I'll be selling live on my whatnot. I've also got the Xbox One X Tricentennial Edition that is super rare, along with the PS4 Destiny Edition, and then the Pokemon Game Boy Color. I've got other special editions as well, but you'll have to log into the live stream to see what they are. And if it seems like it couldn't get any better, it actually can because Whatnot is sponsoring a PS5 giveaway during the live stream. Here's how you can join. The first thing you need to do is go to the description of this video and click the link. My invite link will give new users $10 off of their first purchase. After you click the link, you'll need to create an account on the web. Then you'll just need to download the Whatnot app. You can use your login info from your web account to log into the app. Then all you have to do is search for me, Tronix bookmark my live stream and then join on the day of the live stream so this is what we have to work with we've got a bunch of traces that were sort of fixed that these do not look amazing but I mean they don't have to look amazing they just have to work the port is actually soldered on okay seemingly but what I need to do is go through and clean this out a little bit it's got a bunch of flux residue in here I just can't really tell what's connected and what's not in here. So I'm going to get this cleaned up first and then take another look at it. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. And honestly, like, like I said, it doesn't look amazing, but it looks like all the work has been done that needs to be done for this. What I'm going to do is get out my multimeter and test these connections and make sure everything's connected. 
That one definitely is not. And that one is questionable. So several of these do need to be resoldered. I'm gonna go through and resolder the ones that need to be soldered. And then we'll go through and check it with the multimeter and make sure they all have a good connection. I'm just going through and touching up each one of these just because while I'm here, we might as well make sure they each have plenty of solder and that they're a really good joint. Now I'm gonna get my multimeter out and then just test each of those joints and just to double check and make sure that they're good. Uh, let's clean them up a little bit first just with a Q-tip and some IPA. Get all that excess flux out of there, or at least as much as we can. Sometimes hard to get it all, but it's important to get as much flux out as you can because this can flow into the port itself and then kind of gunk up the HDMI cable and then your HDMI cable won't work and won't display on the TV correctly. It's just a mess. So got to make sure this is all nice and clean. So I'm going to go through and test each of these joints. You should hear a beep when there is a connection and we are looking for a beep. So I'm going to touch one end of my probe over here and one over here. That tells me that that connection is good. So here and here, good. Here and here, good. Good, good. Okay, so we got good joints on all of these. There's a couple of these that I'm gonna test off camera. I can't really show the whole thing because I can't zoom out enough while still getting close enough to see what's going on. So the next thing we need to worry about is this. And just looking at this, it all looks actually pretty good. I am gonna wick away some of this excess solder right here because if you have too much solder on here, that can cause the chip to kind of like lift up a little bit and not settle down on these pads. So we need to make sure there's not too much solder on this. But other than that, this looks pretty good. So let's do that now. Add a bunch of flux. We're gonna need flux on here anyway, and this will just help the solder flow and flow onto the, onto the solder wick. Solder wick acquired, and here we go. I got some of it. It's actually pretty difficult to do this because this is a large ground pad right here. So you gotta get really, really hot in order to really soak this solder up onto the wick. I think we're getting it, maybe, hopefully. Oh yeah, we're getting it. Okay, that's not too bad. Now we just need to prep this chip. Soaked it in that flux nicely. Now I'm just gonna come through with some solder on my iron. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of solder on each of those pads. It's called tinning the chip, tinning the pads. That'll just help it stick to the board once I get ready to install it. Okay, and there we go. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm just gonna flip it over, if I can get a good grip on it. It's stuck down to this flux pretty good. All right, and then there's the number one pad, and that should go down like this. This board actually isn't marked really at all, surprisingly. But down here, there's normally a, a little dot that indicates that's where the number one pad goes. Now my wand's gotta be really hot for this, so I have mine on 1100, and the airflow I think is at three. This can be pretty tough to get into place, but once it's there, it kind of floats into place and then you're pretty good to go. I'm gonna add some flux and then reheat it again, just to make sure it's right where it needs to be. Let's do a little cleanup. Okay, not bad. Let's see if this thing will turn on and work. But of course, first we have to apply the perfect amount of thermal paste. And there we go. Oh, and I do know we do need to deal with this viscous thermal paste, but we'll do that later. I wanna see if this thing works. A 
Okay, it's all back together. Let's plug it in to see if it powers on and then if it shows anything up on the screen. Okay, it's all plugged in. Disk drive makes noise. Let's see what the power button does. Good, it does light up. Black screen, come on. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We already got a picture. So it looks like this is fixed. Um, it looks like we're only at 480p. It's important to get as much flux out as you can because this can flow into the port itself. Then your HDMI cable won't work and won't display on the TV correctly. It's actually fairly common for this to happen when you do work on the HDMI system on these. So I'm gonna go into settings and just change the resolution and then we should be good to go. Okay, we're just gonna go up to 1440p, keep, and there we go. This Xbox Series X is all fixed. I'm not sure why the repair shop said that this Xbox Series X was not fixable, but clearly it was. And honestly, it wasn't really that hard of a job for someone that's got a little bit of experience. Don't forget to check out Whatnot by going to the link in the description and coming to my live sale. If you like this type of video, you'll probably like the video where I bought a special edition Xbox Series X and tried to fix that one, I'll put that video up on your screen now so you can come hang out with me over there and see if I was able to fix it. Thanks so much for watching today, and I hope you have a good one.